Welcome back guys. So in this video we are going to learn about how to configure a scatter wallet with EOS blockchain on local network and also on uh, SCAT EOS testnet blockchain network. So a scatter is a wallet that is used to store accounts and public keys for our EOS accounts and also for other blockchain networks. A scatter is also used for uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin and Tron uh, blockchains and uh, accounts so uh, we will use uh, scatter to uh, connect to eos blockchain through our d apps and uh, smart contracts uh, so uh, first we will see how to configure scatter with local and testnet blockchains and then we will uh, see how to interact it with d apps so let's get started firstly uh, uh, here is a scatter wallet you can download scatter wallet from uh, getscatter.com i will mention the link in the descriptions so uh, it, you can download it and run it uh, and here we will create a, a new account for scatter wallet uh, so accept terms you can choose a strong password here that is necessary uh, because it will be used to secure your wallet accounts next start using scatter and here is the uh, dashboard of our wallet uh, our scatter wallet here is the wallet section and uh, here the accounts will appear uh, that are imported on our uh, scatter so uh, first we will connect the networks uh, to configure the accounts here you can see uh, other blockchains are also listed ethereum tron bitcoin uh, that are supported by scatter wallet but we will uh, use eosio so click eosio and uh, on the right pane there will appear the networks here is the eos main, main net network that we will not use currently so we will disable it and uh, here are the other networks uh, that are used to interact with eos blockchain but uh, we are going to uh, connect our wallet to the local blockchain and the testnet blockchain so here we will add custom network uh, for our uh, local blockchain first so here is the here comes the details for our local network name our custom name local the host will uh, be uh, when we run our, uh, our local blockchain from node us command the uh, local node is run on 127.0.0.1 ip address so uh, we will put 120.0.1 on our host and the protocol is used is http the port by default is 8888 uh, so we will put this information uh, for local blockchain uh, that is used from our uh, node so uh, here comes the chain id what is the chain id the chain id is a blockchain specific uh, id uh, that is uh, uh, that is connected or used so uh, here uh, goes the chain id of our local blockchain network uh, that we run using node us command so uh, let's go to the terminal uh, and find out uh, what our chain id is so uh, for this we will use uh, uh, the command cleos get info here uh, the information for our local net node uh, of eos will appear and as you can see uh, here is the chain id of our local eos node so we will copy and paste it here and uh, that's it we will uh, now save new network so uh, if no error uh, is uh, appeared here uh, it means that the local uh, node is con connected with the scatter successfully and here are our details for local network now uh, we can refresh it and see it no error okay that looks good we will go towards the wallet section here and import the accounts of local blockchain in our scatter wallet so here are uh, some accounts that we have previously made uh, so we will copy and paste the private key of uh, uh, any uh, of our local uh, blockchains account and uh, import it in our wallet so click on import key in the wallet section and uh, then text and input your private key here 
so as you can see it uh, connected the pop account and shown uh, the name of our account and also the uh, blockchain network that is uh, connected that is local and it is the name for our uh, wallets account a scatter account so we can change it let's give it bob account or bob local okay so here is the public key of bob's account and uh, here is our account created uh, sorry connected to our scatter wallet and uh, uh, by clicking it you can see the details of the accounts ram net cpu etc and everything assets also managed so let's get back to uh, the network section and uh, add uh, new network for the jungle test net connection so uh, here we can put the name uh, for our jungle test net let's say jungle and for the host ip uh, we can visit on jungle test net monitor uh, to get the api endpoints for our um, uh, connection uh, to the test net blockchain and uh, on the monitor click on api endpoints and it will generate the list of api endpoints that are available for connection here is the list of uh, api endpoints you can use any of them uh, i have copied a uh, uh, api so we will connect to it put in a host uh, just the uh, address section will go here no http and no port uh, then the protocol is HTTP uh, as we can see here and uh, our port is 8888 it will also be shown on the testnet so uh, to get the chain ID for uh, uh, a specific blockchain uh, or testnet we will use minus u for URL and place uh, the specific API endpoint that, that we are using to connect to the blockchain so we will uh, copy and paste here the URL endpoint with HTTP and port as well. So uh, this command will give us uh, uh, the chain blockchain details for the testnet. And uh, here is the chain ID for our testnet. And uh, as you can see the chain ID for our local blockchain and the testnet blockchain are different. So we can uh, copy now uh, the chain id for testnet and paste it here and save new network so here are the details for our uh, network let's refresh it no error that means it is connected to the jungle network let's get back to the wallet and import uh, some accounts from our uh, testnet blockchain that we have created recently so here is our uh, account that we have created recently we can we will copy the private key for our account and uh, we will paste it here so uh, now our account is here but uh, no information is uh, uh, here so uh, we will do our refresh accounts uh, you can click refresh accounts multiple times if the account is not connected but if uh, uh, it persists and no information is uh, here you can try changing the endpoints uh, for our uh, testnet so we will use a different api endpoint here uh, that we have uh, used recently we, uh, we previously used jungle ethic lab now we will use this one so let's get back to the network section and uh, on jungle click host and uh, on host we will paste the uh, new endpoint and this is the HTTPS protocol and the port is 443 so we will change it and update network details chain id will remain the same for all api endpoints of uh, jungle testnet and uh, nowhere okay let's get back to wallet and refresh it again So voila, uh, here is our account detail. Now it is connected to the scatter testnet. So uh, great, change the name of this account to uh, testnet or jungle uh, account. So great, now we have seen how to connect uh, scatter to the jungle detail, jungle. And here we can also see the details of our account, the uh, assets, EOS or tokens, CPU, etc for our account and uh, both of our account from local and testnet blockchains are configured on 
um, scared now. So great, thanks for watching.